Hi guys, it's Miss Hernandez, and I've got another read aloud for you today. In case you haven't guessed from my costume or my stuffed animal back here, we are going to be reading Madeline. This was one of my favorite books growing up. I even dressed up as Madeline for Halloween when I was a kid, and then again as an adult. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. And sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine, the smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, poo poo. She's not even afraid of the tiger. And nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on her light. She said, something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after Dr. Kahn came, he rushed out to the phone. He dialed Danton 10-6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Madeline soon ate and drank. On her bed, there was a crank. And a, and a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Let's see if you can find it. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Tiptoeing with solemn face with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and they said, ah, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth and went to bed. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light. She said, something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. And she said, please children do tell me what is troubling you. And all the little girls cried, boo hoo. We want to have our appendix out too. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. She turned out the light and closed the door, and that's all there is. There isn't any more. And that's the end. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I did. Have a good day.